Hey guys and gals, going to give a quick tutorial on how to make a lithopane with your uh, 3D printer. Uh, to preface this, I, I would suggest that you work with a white filament, um, and we're going to work uh, in this illustration prep, preparing it in Cura Photoshop, and um, of course sending it to our 3D printer. Now Photoshop is optional. You will need some sort of image editing application that's going to allow you to adjust the levels, the brightness, the contrast, and convert an, a photo into uh, black and white. So I've got a photo that I'm going to work with. I'm going to work with this dog photo. And I'm going to bring that into Photoshop. And we're going to take that and convert it to grayscale or remove all the color information from it. All right. Uh, if you're familiar with Photoshop, you'll know how to do this. If you're familiar with another image editor, um, you'll need to work that one out yourself. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and adjust some of the um, hue and saturation for this image. And I'm going to remove all the color information from it so that it becomes black and white. I'm also going to take this image and bump up the levels. We want it to be very contrasty. We want it to be the whites to be very bright white and the darks to be very dark. Okay, so we're gonna look at that as if it's pretty acceptable. We've got nice dark darks and very bright whites. This is gonna be important because the dark information is gonna become tall or very thick when we print this and the light is gonna be recessed. It's gonna be lower in the print. We can probably go up with our uh, brightness and contrast and see if we can give this any more contrast. Sometimes that dark, we can see that we've made a substantial increase in that. Now what I'm going to do at this point is save as a JPEG. And I'll save it to my desktop. Save that as example, all right. And we've got it over here now. Now what we're gonna do at this point is we're gonna bring that into Cura, just like we would an STL file. You can drag that in or you can import it this direction. I'm just gonna drag and drop it. Now here, uh, we're, what we're gonna do is convert that image information into a 3D STL that will become printable. Now, you want these prints to be thin less than two millimeters preferably and the height is it referencing the height of the artwork where the uh, projection of this image begins to rise out of the base so considering that we want the entire thing to be about two millimeters in height we're going to establish our height of our artwork to be one millimeter and our base is going to be one millimeter that's the flat area that the image is projected from Okay, now our width, this is the native width of that image that came in at 575.7 pixels. That's going to exceed our printed area. Generally, these are good if they're in a neighborhood of between um, 50 and 100. So I'm going to convert this over to 100. And it automatically adjusts the depth, or which is the uh, width depth ratio okay now we're going to leave it uh, darker is higher meaning that the areas of our image will be darker will be obviously be higher um, if, it, if you were to go to lighter is higher it's going to do the opposite of that and you'll in sense have the negative reversal effect on your photo once it's printed and we're going to take smoothing we're going to go about light smoothing and give it a nice um, average in regards to smoothing. Enter OK. And what we've done now is we've converted that image. It's kind of difficult to look at it in here, but we've converted that image to a 3D model. And you'll see that we've got our base thickness and then the area that protrudes from that, which is the model. Now again, thinner is better, but you do need some thickness in order to get the detail. And if I were to bring that photo back up, you can see that we've got the photo, some detail in this F end that the dog's laying on, its eyes, some dis definition in the hair, nose, and then the uh, areas in the background. 
So at this point, it's ready to print. Now I've got all my printer settings here. We've got uh, under the basic tab a layer height of 0 0.08, and it's going to produce very fine layers. That's why the print time on such small objects can be uh, so long. We've got a shell thickness. It's basically the layer height for the shells, uh, how Cura works with that. Um, fill, we've got 1.2 for that. Density, we want to be 100%. We don't want any kind of um, infill on this. We want it to be a solid piece. Print speed, anywhere between 35 and 50 is acceptable. Of course, set your printing temperature for your nozzle and your bed to whatever type filament you're using. PLA makes it makes this uh, a real easy work and it turns out very well. Uh, white, of course, or a very light color. Um, support type 9, we uh, don't need any brims or skirts or anything of that nature. Entering your filament diameter and your flow rate. Of course, your nozzle size. And once this is done, um, you can go ahead and tell it to save the G-code. Right? If you'd rather print this in another slicer, you can also tell it to save the model. Right? Now, by default, when you save this model, it's going to give it the uh, AMF extension, which is uh, a newer type of extension, which is suitable for multicolor printing. But if you want to rather save it for, example, let's call this uh, dog and we'd rather it be in an STL file, we need to provide that extension. And then we can save that out. And here we've got that. Now, let's say we wanted to print it in Simplify 3D. Now that we've created that, we can simply drag this in, and uh, you'll see that it's ready to print in Simplify 3D. So this is a real down and dirty, easy way to produce a litho pane from a photo that you've got and um, I'm considering modeling <clears throat> uh, or creating a model that represents a lampshade where the pieces are triangular, more or less triangular, uh, not a perfect triangle, triangle, but wider at the bottom and a little narrower at the top so that they'll fit in a, a lampshade model that I plan to, to create. And uh, in a sense with the lampshade, when it's off, you'll just have a white lampshade. And when you turn the light on, of course, the lamp bulb being inside the shade would be providing backlighting for this and then you'd have a, uh, a lamp that uh, is customized to show some of your favorite pictures. So hope you find this helpful. Remember we've got a uh, Facebook group going now and a website prusamk2.com. If you join over there you're welcome to contribute, post up articles yourself, videos of yourself, uh, ask questions and hopefully get answers. So we'll talk to you guys and girls later. Bye bye.